What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge. This is number two. I got a few things to say before we start, so if you just want to skip ahead to the action, check the description. I'll have timestamps there. So I did find out that this little action camera I'm using, if I put it down to 1080p, it has stabilization, so I'm going to try that out today. Let me know what you think, uh, if the hit in quality is worth it or not. So with the last challenge, you really like the challenge. Um, you like the rules, except you didn't like that I was able to adjust the speed. So today, we're going to go a little bit farther. It's going to be about 25 miles on US 23. That's actually going to have to go through an exchange. So the test is a little more complicated today. Uh, so the rules are going to be similar. We want to see if Navigate on Autopilot can go on-ramp to off-ramp with zero interventions like Tesla claims. Um, so I'll be paying full attention. I'm not going to do anything dangerous here. If there's a safety issue, I'll take over. But if I have to intervene at all, the test is over. The car fails, uh, and that's the end of the video. I'm going to end it right there. I'll put all the info about my uh, software and settings, like my following distance and speed. I'll put that all in the description, so check down there for that. Uh, let's get on the highway and see if we can make it 25 miles with zero interventions. All right, so getting on the highway. When available, there we go, it's on. I'm gonna set the speed at 78, and so from this point on, I'm gonna let the car do everything. All right, so going into a faster lane. All good there. See, my following distance is two. We'll keep it at two. All right, really good. So getting out of the passing lane, um, that's good. You don't want to sit in the passing lane if you don't need to. So a little short-sighted here. Um, I would be in the left lane because I know these semis are going to be slow. over. We'll see if this guy will let us in. Nope, he sped up when my turn signal went on. Pretty typical. He did not look at me. All right, it looks like the next car is letting us in. All right, pretty good. That's really good. That's, that's like exactly what I would have done. Okay, so you can see we've been sitting in the left lane for a while. We are getting passed on the right, but you know, those semis are kind of in our way. And so if I was driving, I think I would be staying here because I can't, you know, go anywhere in the right lane anyway. Can the car see that far ahead? I'm really not sure. Um, they're not being displayed. Okay, there, that one just did pop up there. Um, so they weren't displayed that far ahead, uh, but the car seemed okay staying here. So I'm, I'm not sure how it made that decision. Right, getting out of the passing lane. I would not get over yet because of these merging cars, but look at that, instantly locked onto that car. Oh, nope, okay, all right. So it instantly locked onto that car. It did lose it for a second, but then it got it again, and it slowed to let it in. I, we probably did confuse them just a bit, but um, overall it did okay. Okay, so this part of my route is a little bit annoying uh, with autopilot. You can see that green arrow in the top left. That means that lane is open. I'm legally allowed to use it. Um, but because there's the solid line there, autopilot won't cross that line. So normally if, you know, right now we're going 70, but I want to go 78. So I just take over for a second and get in that lane. Um, but autopilot won't cross the lane even though you're allowed to do that. Um, so. I'm not sure what the answer to that problem is, but it seems seems pretty easy. If the cameras can, you know, see that green arrow, they can determine, oh, okay, I'm allowed to go there. 
uh, if, if the lane's closed, so it's it's only open really during rush hour, or if there's an accident blocking another lane. Um, if it's closed, you'll have a red X up there. So we're passing on the right here. It is legal to do that in Michigan. I looked up the law and it says some really vague stuff like if it's safe to do so. Um, so this is uh, nothing wrong with this. trying they did slow down so now the car's going that was pretty good actually I was so I was looking in my mirror and I, I couldn't tell myself if they were letting me in or not um, they, they still were getting closer to me and then the car uh, finally moved over when they slowed enough so that was really I mean that that one was really human like um, and then also just so you know I do always have a hand on the wheel uh, if you let off you'll get uh, a message that says you know put a hand on the wheel so that the car knows you're paying attention So here's that message for you. I took my hand off the wheel for maybe about a minute or 45 seconds. Then I just put my hand, uh, rest it back on the wheel and, and it goes away. Okay, so this is where the highway splits off in two different directions. Uh, we can go east or west. And the car was in the correct lane the whole time. So that was really not a big deal at all. Um, sometimes it seems to get in the left lane here and it'll pop up with a message like, yeah, see, changing lanes to follow route. Um, but it doesn't need to, so I'm not sure uh, what's wrong with the map data on that. Um, so again, the turn signal's on. We got this guy speeding up, doesn't want to let us in. Oh, he did look this time. That's interesting. And then... Okay, so we canceled it. And I'm fine with that. You, you really don't need to get over. Actually, our exit ends up being on the right, so I'd rather stay in this lane. Hey, another... Oh, what the heck was that? <laughs> okay, that was pretty weird. That lane change was actually really good, and then car decided never mind it wanted to stay here all right so here it's struggling um, I assume it's looking around trying to decide what lane to get into um, and there's just too many cars passing us on each side okay, so now we're going to the right and that person is letting us in so these lane changes are really dependent on the drivers around you um, if you put your turn signal on and somebody wants to let you in, you're getting over. You know, there's really no problem there. It's when you put your turn signal on and either, you know, maybe the person just doesn't notice or they intentionally speed up. I mean, you really can tell, you know, when you turn your turn signal on, you can tell when that car hits the gas and, and doesn't let you in. Um, so if people are kind of, so people can really kind of push the car around, you know, it's pretty timid, which is probably good for safety. You know, you don't want the car. I, I'd rather have the car like um, not do something than bump into somebody, right? All right, so we're just about here. Again, maybe I shouldn't talk too soon, but that was really fast, really smooth. And, um, you know, I, I hate to say it, but I love to say it. It was kind of boring. Um, really nothing too crazy happened. We had the one weird lane change. Um, but this is looking really good. I mean, we just went 25 miles. I didn't even think about intervening one time. Even on that lane change bail, the whole kind of situation was so smooth, I had no desire to kind of grab the wheel and, and do anything about it. Um, so this is really impressive. Um, you know, we're on 2019.20.4.2, but every time you get an update, you know, these things just get slightly better. And there we are, the final exit. We got a success again. Uh, autopilot, uh, no interventions on navigate on autopilot. Challenge number two, uh, a success. I was a little skeptical on this one just because the distance was farther and everything. Um, but wow, I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. Th this is cool and, and it's only going to get better from here. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, hit like, get subscribed if, if you're enjoying these. Uh, and let me know what you think about the camera. Um, I noticed that it cropped in a bit for that uh, image stabilization. Uh, so I, I 
don't think I like that, but maybe I can just back it up a little bit. Um, so that's going to be it. Uh, next challenge, I think I'm going for roundabouts, but comment below. Let me know what, what challenges you want to see. All right, I'll uh, see you in the next one.